Before humans came into existence, the world looked like a very different place. You may be surprised to know that our world didn't always look the way it does now, and an incredible amount of changes have occurred over the past 4.5 billion years. If we could step back in time and stand on the Earth millions of years ago, you'd see an alien planet that looked like something straight from a science fiction story. Today, let's uncover six ways Earth once looked like an alien planet. Number six, liquid magma rain. During the early period of our planet, a rain of asteroids would smash into the Earth, turning it into a hellish landscape. The oceans on our planet grew so heated that they would literally boil. This led to parts of the Earth's surface to melt, leading to gigantic rock masses that turned into a liquid that drifted like a slow-moving river at staggeringly hot temperatures. Some of the vaporized rock eventually became part of the Earth's atmosphere, leading to magnesium oxide drifting up into the atmosphere like evaporating water, which eventually condensed into droplets of hot liquid magma. The Earth would have seen many liquid magma showers falling from the skies. Number five, Snowball. We are all aware the world has gone through its share of ice ages. However, there is one ice age in particular that stands out from the rest. Recent evidence has been discovered that an ice age from 760 million years ago called the Snowball Earth covered the globe in ice. Scientists were able to prove this after finding traces of ancient glaciers in Canada. This may sound weird, but 700 million years ago, Canada was at the equator. They discovered the current warmest parts of the Earth were as cold as the modern Antarctic. However, don't be fooled. From outer space, Earth as a snow globe would not have looked white at all, but would have appeared a filthy black in color due to volcanoes constantly erupting, filling the sky with ash. Number four, acid rain. When the snowball Earth period ended, it wasn't very pretty. Scientists believe the Earth went through an intense chemical weathering, resulting in acid rain continuously falling from the skies for a staggering 100,000 years straight. Due to the rain being so hard and heavy, it melted the glaciers that covered the Earth. This resulted in enriching our planet, sending nutrients into the oceans, letting life grow under the sea, and sending oxygen into the atmosphere, leading to an explosion of life on our planet. Number three, purple. You may be surprised to hear that the first plants to grow on the Earth weren't green, but purple, according to one theory. Three to four billion years ago, if you were to see the Earth from space, it would have been covered in purple. This is because the first life forms on Earth absorbed light from the sun in a slightly different way. Our green plants today use chlorophyll to absorb sunlight, which turns them green. However, the first plants used a light-sensitive molecule called retinol, leading them to turn a shade of violet. It is also believed that until 1.6 billion years ago, after the plants had turned green, the oceans became purple. This was due to a thick layer of purple toxic sulfur that covered the water near the surface, leading to purple oceans. Number two, rotten eggs. Apart from theories about how the planet looked, scientists have uncovered how our planet smelled too. It was discovered that if someone were to take a sniff of the air 1.9 billion years ago, it would have had a distinct rotting egg scent. This is because the oceans were full of gassy bacteria feeding on the salt in the seawater. The bacteria took in salt and released hydrogen sulfide, filling the air with a stench. This would have resulted in a smell like eggs gone bad. So basically, the world stank of frequent and unusually potent farts. Number one, giant mushrooms. You may be surprised to hear that trees only grew around a few feet in height around 400 million years ago, apart from one exception, fungi. One point, during Earth's history, a type of mushroom called prototaxites were a common sight, growing in every corner of the globe. The prototaxites towered over all other living things, featuring trunks that stretched eight meters, or 26 feet, into the sky, and were one meter, or three feet, wide. Even though today's modern trees will still outgrow them, they were the biggest plant to grow at that time. 
Unlike today's mushrooms, they didn't have a cap on the end, but it consisted entirely of the trunk. They've uncovered fossils of these trunks on every part of the planet, so you wouldn't have been able to go to many places on Earth without finding a forest full of gigantic mushrooms.